Hello, welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I will show how to upload an image to server in Flutter. So this is a demo of app that we are going to build. Where when we click choose image, it will open the gallery and when we select an image, it will appear in the UI and clicking on upload image will upload the image to a server. All right. So for this demo, I'll be using a local server, uh, which is called XAMPP. So you can download XAMPP from Apache Friends. I'll be providing the link in the description. So once you have installed, you'll be getting this window. Click on Manage Servers and you can start the MySQL database or the server. Now I will show where I will show the scripts. Go to XAMPP and SC Docs where I have created a photo flutter test where I'll be saving the upload script. So for this demo, we will need two libraries, one for uh, networking and other for uh, selecting the image from the gallery or camera. So I'll be adding this HTTP library. Uh, I'll be providing the link in the description. And the uh, other library we need is image picker library to select the image from the camera or gallery. So I'll be providing this, uh, the link to this library also in the description. So first thing we need is to import all the needed packages. So we need the IO package, the convert package, the HTTP package, and the image picker library. All right. So let's uh, make the UI first. So I'm adding a column. Let's make it center. Now let's add the children. So the first one is an outline button. On press of the button, we will call a method choose image. And the text will be choose image. So let's uh, give some spacing after that. So size box with a height of 20. And next thing is I'm going to show the image which is selected from the gallery. So let's We'll be writing that function. All right. Now another outline button, which will say start upload, upload image, which will call the function start upload. All right. And at the end, we will need one more text to show the status of the upload. So just align the content to the center and set the style the color of green and font weight of font weight dot w500 and font size of 20 all right now let's write the function choose image the second function is show image so that will return a widget all right now the start upload function Okay, now we will declare the status variable as well. So string status is equal to empty. All right, so error is because we have returned a null. So let's return a container. Now it's okay. Okay, now we need to open the gallery to choose the image. So let's uh, write that. For that we need a future file variable so file is equal to image picker dot pick image and the source will be let's set it to gallery because simulator doesn't have the camera so set state all right now once the file is received, we need to set it in the UI with the image, right? So let's create a future builder and attach the file to this future builder. So future will be file and the builder will take the build context and a thing snapshot, which is of type file. And if the connection state the snapshot is done and the snapshot data is not null we need to show the image so for that we need to return a 
return an image which is wrapped inside a flexible object. So image.file and snapshot.data. And the fit will be box fit.fit. Alright, so error is because we have not handled the error conditions. Okay, so go to the else part and check if there is some error. So snapshot.error is not equal to null, then we will show a text which will say error picking image and align at the center. Otherwise, we will just say no image selected. Okay, now the error is gone. So let's stress the UI to fill the screen. All right. Now let's see if that is working. So click on choose image. So it's opening the gallery. Select an image. Okay, it's showing the UI. All right. So that is working. Now we need uh, to upload the image. So we'll be uploading the image in the form of a base64 string. So we are declaring a temporary file and an error message saying error uploading image. All right. So once we have the file, we'll be assigning the snapshot of data to the temporary file. And for the base64 string of the image, we will call base64 encode with snapshot of data and call read as byte sync. All right. Now uh, inside the start upload, we will check if the temporary file is null. Then we will just return or show an error message. So let's write a function set status. So that will accept the message and set the status variable to the message. All right. So when we click start upload, it will say uploading image and when there is some error, it will say the error message. Okay. So once that is done, we need to get the file name uh, to send it to the server. So let it let's get it from the dump file, split it with the file separator, and get the last index. Okay. So we will write a new function upload with the file name, and now we are going to use HTTP library. So call http dot post. So we need a upload URL. So for now, uh, we will just declare a variable, static final string, and upload endpoint. Let's set it to empty for now. And the body is a is an object. So let's say image. And base64 image and the file name we are sending it as name file name okay so once that is returned from the return from the server with the result we will call set status and show it in the UI so let's check if it uh, if the status code is 200 then only we will show the message from the server that is the response body otherwise we will show the error message so if there is some error we'll cast the error and we will show the error message okay and now i am going to write the php upload script for that i'm just creating a new file and saving saving it in the sam history docs flutter test folder I'm naming it upload underscore image dot php. So let's get the image and the file name in the server side. So dollar image equal to so get the image. So dollar underscore post image. So this image is the image here. All right. So we need to get the name as well. Okay. So once we have that, we need to decode the v64 encoded image. So call b64 underscore decode with the image image variable okay and 
file for contents. We'll write a file to the disk. Let's pass in the name and the real image. So once that is done, we'll send back file upload. Okay. Now let's update the URL. So, so that's the path. So that will be HTTP localhost. So you need to change this to your server IP. Okay. Dot dot slash upload image dot php. Okay. So let's uh, restart the app and click on choose image, select an image and click upload image. Okay, file is uploaded. Let's see that. Okay, it's uploaded. Now we'll change the message. Click on upload image again. So that's also working. Let's select another image and upload it. All right. So we will reset the message when we click choose image. Okay. Upload the image. Okay. Let's give some spacing after that. Okay, perfect. Let's try one more. And let's check the server. Okay, so all images are uploaded now. So that's all that is needed for uh, uploading an image to server in Flutter. Hope you liked the video. If you do, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications and thanks for watching.